All right, just got home from work. It's about 5.30 Friday afternoon. Um, got a lot of fishing playing this weekend. Hopefully I'm gonna get some smallmouth. That's what I, my real goal is um, to go catch. I gotta get packed up, get everything loaded up in my truck. Maybe even sleeping in my truck tonight because I'm gonna be going up to the mountains. Get rid of this, this is aggravating. And um, I'll be ready to go in just a minute. All right, so I filled up with gas, got something to eat, grab some snacks for tomorrow. Uh, my plan is to head towards Reliance and the mountains of East Tennessee. I plan on fishing all day and just exploring around the area. Got a fish. A little one. Let's get it over here. Oh, we got a trout. All right, it's like 6.30 in the morning. I just slept in my truck over there. It wasn't the most comfortable sleep in the world, but last night I fished here for like an hour and a half. Didn't catch anything, maybe an hour. This morning I've been fishing for about 10 minutes. Got this little trout. Off the uh, rebel crawl, now he's back in the water. Fish! Oh, it's about time. Get up here. Don't come off, don't come off. Yes, I got a smallmouth. It finally happened. Oh man. Nice. <laughs> I threw the uh, rebel crawl right over there. It wasn't even spinning right, and it came out from underneath that uh, that brush right there, and just just tagged it. One pound, one ounce. That's what I'm going for today. Yes, just hooked something good. Oh, look at that bass! Nice. Oh, he is fighting in this current. I just walked through over there. And oh, what the fall off? Standing on these slippery rocks. I just walked through over there and um, just started casting around, standing on this rock out in the middle of the river. Man, this thing is fighting. And I'm just casting around here and there. Yes, this is what I was coming for. This is what I've been coming This is what I've been walking for 45 minutes or an hour to get up here. This right here. Come on. Rebel crawl. Oh my. Yes, look at that thing. <laughs> oh man, one pound, 12 ounces is what it's holding at. That right there is what I was wanting to find. Another one. The little one. Just casting upstream. What we got? Rock bass. I'll take it. As long as I'm catching fish, I'll be happy. Nice little rock bass. A little fish earlier with a rebel crawl. Came back with a crick hopper. Got this bluegill. Pretty good little bluegill. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, dude, there's a couple bass right there. They were looking at it. They look like largemouth. I'm not sure if they were just chasing it off, they were trying to eat it. Dude, that's a big bass right there. Got oh, yes, <laughs> got one of them. There was a bigger one there, but I got one here. Come here. Nice. 
I switched up to the uh, the zoom that I had earlier, put it back on there, and I was just floating it around because I saw a bunch of fish swimming around on the bottom there. Got a good large mouth. Nice. It's been a while since I've caught a fish, except for that little bluegill a minute ago. So um, I've been walking around all over the place up here. Um, it's a it's hard to get around, so well, that's a good fish there. Put it back in. Oh, got another rock bass. Catch another little one. Little panfish. I think it's fat though. Another little rock bass. These little calmer areas are full of fish, but they're all really small. I'm gonna move upstream to where the current's flowing a little stronger. Throw him back in there. Yes. Back to the smallmouth. There's one. Come up here where the Currents flowing into the river. Finally, get some bigger fish. It's a nice little smallmouth there. I just uh, I was down there, came up the road, and um, walked up the road and came in right here. Looks like people fish here a lot. So, well, that's a good sign. Got me another little smallmouth. Hopefully, I can find some more. Having trouble finding the smallmouth, but I'm finding the other fish. Hold on, another little rock bass. Oh, got a fish. Thought I was stuck on that rock over there. Another rock bass. That's the third rock bass in like the same area. There's a bunch of them over here. Got a big bluegill. 